So it's like seven o'clock the next morning. Um, as you can see, a lot of progress has been made. Uh, some shit, man. I just, I just don't got fucking room to stick this shit away, man. But uh, yeah. the engine mount, I don't necessarily want to put it back over there in the corner, just for the simple fact that we don't have to use it here soon. We put the motor in the covers. Uh, over here, just a box of randomness over there. Uh, these are the wires. <laughs> Spark plug wires. I think I had them for either the Caprice or the Chevelle. Or... Either way, Caprice don't need them. <laughs> Chevelle is gone. Uh, Cutlass don't need them. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to put them on Craigslist. Yeah, so, um, those are the motor mounts. I think you're ready to, I had them down there kind of cleaning and prepping them. If you paint it, I'm going to just go black. Uh, those are going to be for the colors too, for the motor mounts. Uh, what else? Yeah, so I got all that dry sweep, sweeped up and stuff. Stuff so little small thing like oh this is going in the trash not the head <laughs> but everything oh this right here is gonna go in the trash I just gotta get open the open the door and get that uh my chalkboard I wanna get it mounted up like somewhere like <clears throat> since I moved into this house man I've been doing projects so from the C10 well for the Caprice Got swap right here. The C10 also got swap right here, and then the colors gonna get swap right here. Um, and then that's it. So then I think I can, you know, start kind of doing like some garage beautification. Um, let me tell you what my thoughts are. I know I kind of went over this organization bit about the garage before. Wasn't really sure, but now I'm back at it again. So what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna move one of these shells, one of these shells, and those two black shells, I'm going to move back over here. Where, I don't know, maybe after the Cutlass motor, one of the, one of those shells, I'll move it over here. And then, from there, let's see. Oh uh, no, because if I move, if I move one of those shells over here, then technically, maybe the air compressor can come from up under here. Or one can go at the end of the table, and the other one can go under the table. The table that I'm talking about, and I'm thinking of it, that's because that's what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to build a workbench. So in order to have enough room on this wall to build said workbench, <laughs> I'm going to need for this, one of these shells, to be over there, out the way. 
because everywhere else is just kind of caked up with room, and I really need a, a shed or something. That way I can move like certain things, like my swingers. My swingers could go outside. Car parts, could go, extra car parts and shit could go outside. I mean, that would kind of free up some room. Engine hoist. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and then you just pull it out when you need it, you know? Uh, my son's car, uh, dolly, you know, transmissions, you know, stuff like that. So, um, that's the plan. That's my game plan in my head. So, this shelf coming out and going over there. Compressor. But yeah, so this shelf can come out and go over here where the compressors are. The compressors, even though we kind of moving them back over here to where they was. Um, once I build the workbench, which I want to say, like I have an end compressor right here, one of the compressors right here at the end. Then the table, which will go probably from like here all the way down. Like the maybe here or something. Something like something along those lines. And then the shelf can be like maybe more at the end. I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to think of a master plan here, guys. Um, but I know I want to work in it. So uh, once once this motor is out of the way, because uh, I still have the dilemma of the motorcycle, so I don't want to have the bench like that. I want to still, because I still have to be able to get to the panel. I still have to, and then when my bike is in the garage, I don't want it like in front of the workbench because it's totally, totally counterproductive. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm just thinking of a plan. Let me show you how the area over here again. Let me know your thoughts on, without buying anything additional, what would be the best way to organize like this side of the garage? Like I said, my thoughts is taking that one shelf, put it back in the corner, moving the compressor over, you know what I'm saying? Building, building the shelf, or building the workbench, you know what I'm saying, maybe like five to six feet long, and then just kind of doing like that. So, and then of course, you still got the toolbox right there, which that can probably be pushed over to the side against the wall, like that could maybe come down here. But like I said, then you still have the bike. So, I don't know, man. I do not know. I mean, we, we got some room over here. I mean, do we necessarily want to put our bike between the cars? I mean, I, know, I guess it necessarily wouldn't be a bad thing. But then when I go to get my bike out, because it has that big 240 tire on that bike, that's a, that's a pretty small spot to try to get through. So, I don't know, man, I don't know. Like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on how this can be rearranged um, and stuff. I'm also going to look into getting uh, my logo. I don't know if I'm gonna get it painted. I got a homeboy. He's sick. He's sick with the. He's sick with the uh, with the paint. Like he could he could paint my logo on that wall right there. I don't know if I go that route or uh, I just I might just look into getting maybe like a poster made or something like that. That'll probably be uh, quicker, easier. Because the way that my schedule is, man, having to. But he's very busy. I'm very busy. So I'm trying to link up and find the perfect schedule time for where both of us is free and in the country and all of that, man, it, it would just be a headache, man, so, uh, 
I'm gonna actually put the link to his, well, he doesn't have a channel, but he got a Facebook page where you can see all his artwork and stuff. So I'll put that link right here. I don't know. At the bottom of the screen, how about that? So that's his link to his page, check him out. Uh, if you need anything done, done, done. So, my boy is nice, my boy is nice. So. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, that's gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna finish, uh, clean up what I can uh, before I gotta get ready to go to this photo shoot. Um, and that's gonna be that. Also, I gotta get them shuttles done. As you can see, like, I kind of went around the garage and marked, like, where the studs is at. Just marked it, like, all the way around the garage. <clears throat> that way, when I get ready to do my shells, uh, that'll help me get a lot of this shit up off the floor, too. So, all right, so I'm going to bring out an update on the garage and the cleaning that has commenced. Let's go. Garage door. Oh, man, it looks so much better. I can actually see the ground. It's not 100%, but it's 100% better. Um, you got your walkway, you know what I'm saying? So you got like a bike in the way. A little toolbox over here. Um, that just gives us more room, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a lot, you need to, it's not like you need that much room initially, just coming through here. Uh, I mean, you know, you still got some stuff over here. A lot of stuff I just still kind of had to put on top of the cutlass, man, to get the shelves and shit done. But for the most part, it does look a whole lot better, a whole lot more manageable to move around in this thing. Uh, those are like older, like some parts I had out the Chevelle and shit. That I was going to with Chevelle and the Caprice. I also need the starters. I was trying to sell them hoes. Uh, ain't nobody really biting. So I might just go ahead and get rid of them. I don't need them. It is what it is. Uh, after I change the oil on my bike, I probably can move it up here. Like I said, I'm still trying to make plans for this, uh, for how I'm about to move, how I'm about to move this stuff. So I still want to do like a, a workbench table on this wall. Uh, like I said, probably just moving one of these shelves out uh, and going from there. But yeah, man, it looks a lot better. I'm for the next one. Um.